Hello there and welcome to this introduction to Divisimate Micro, our small and affordable companion for your music creation. There are a lot of amazing virtual instruments out there that are breathtaking in their playability and realism, but there's one thing that some of the best of them have in common. They are monophonic, meaning they can only play one line at a time. If you want to play chords with them, you either need to sacrifice the realism with its lovely legato transitions and all that, or you play the lines in one at a time. That's why we decided to develop our Divisi engine. When you play chords on your keyboard, our algorithm separates them into a set number of individual voices in real time. These voices can then be modified and sent to different individual instruments. Using Divisimate, you could play chords on your keyboard and have a full virtual orchestra with each section and soloist receiving their own individual parts derived from your live playing. But not everybody wants to build such a big ensemble. Sometimes you just want to go small and keep it simple. Sometimes you just want to add that string quartet or the trumpet section to your arrangement and that's all. For smaller applications like that, Divisimate was always a little bit overkill. And that's why today we're introducing Divisimate Micro. Divisimate Micro runs as an instrument plugin in your DAW of choice and connects to four virtual MIDI ports. Your MIDI input gets into the plugin from your controller, just like any other track. It is then processed, split up and sent to the Divisimate ports. These ports can then be used as an input device on any instrument track within the same project. You can now just record both your keyboard input and the individual parts live right onto the tracks in your DAW. Or if you don't want to play live, you can just play back existing MIDI on the Divisimate micro track and record the process result on the individual tracks. So essentially, Divisimate micro is looping around four processed MIDI streams back into your DAW to your instrument tracks. That's the theory. Here's how it looks in the real world. Here I have a Logic project with one track with Divisimate Micro and four instrument tracks receiving from the Divisimate ports. I just have to record enable them all at the same time and I can play some chords and have them split up and recorded on the instrument tracks right away. So you see how up here I have the original MIDI that I played on the keyboard with the full chords and below I have the resulting split up tracks for each instrument. If I'm not happy with the results and want to tweak it a bit, I can just delete the recorded parts and edit the source data. For example, I can paint in some additional controller data to make the whole thing more expressive and shape the performance of the ensemble in detail. I can play it back without recording to preview the result and once I'm happy, I can just record the instrument tracks with the final result like this. And then still I can edit the individual parts here however I like. Divisimate Micro is just the starting point here, but you keep all the control over the individual parts. Let's have a look at how exactly this is set up. This is a project in Logic Pro, but the same core principles apply across all compatible DAWs. So I've got five tracks going on here. On the top I have the Divisimate Micro track, and then below I have four instrument tracks. In this case I have four instances of the Swam solo strings by audio modeling here, making up a classical string quartet. But you can use any other instruments you like here. Divisimet Micro does not care what it's connected to. Now first let's look at the input section of the instrument tracks real quick. As you can see, next to my complete control keyboard I have four Divisimet ports available here in the menu. That's because I have selected this option in the next MIDI hub. The next MIDI hub is the background application that creates and manages the Divisimet ports. You can access it in your system tray over here and you can also choose a different port setup. If I want to use up to four instances of Divisimate Micro side by side, I would choose this setup here and it would create 16 different ports instead of just four. But we'll keep it simple for now. So we got our ports here in the input menu and on the Divisimate Micro track, we select our keyboard controller instead of the all option. We do this because we don't want to feed the input from these ports back into Divisimate Micro, which would create a feedback loop. On the instrument tracks, however, the first one is receiving from Divisimate port 1, the second one port 2, viola is getting port 3, and the cello is getting port 4. 
This setup is the main principle you need to understand to work with Divisimate Micro. Instruments are receiving from different Divisimate ports, Divisimate Micro is receiving directly from the controller. Now that the setup is out of the way, let's get an overview of Divisimate Micro. The most important part of the plugin is our Divisi engine. The way it works is that you select the number of voices you want to play down here, and then the engine splits up your playing into those voices. Here on the right, you see the different port numbers. On the grid in the middle, you can now route the individual voices to the ports. Right now, I have four voices simply routed from lowest to highest to my four instruments. I could instead just activate three voices to leave out the cello and play just triads on the higher instruments. Here on the right of the port numbers, I can insert plugins. Divisimate Micro has a trigger and a transposer plugin. With the trigger plugin, I can send different CC values or key switches to my instruments, for example, to switch between articulations and playing styles. Whatever I set here will be sent out when a preset is loaded. And with the transposer plugin, I can transpose instruments either by individual half steps or in octaves. So let's say I want to play a simple triad like before, but I want the cello to double the top note of the triad an octave below. I just route the first voice to the cello, insert a transposer plugin and transpose the cello down an octave. And there we go. Over here you can choose between three different kinds of Divisi modes, which mostly control the way the engine handles the situation when you play less notes than active voices. We got an in-depth video on that, which I'd recommend you check out to really get what these are doing. You'll find the link in the video description. As you can see, there are two more buttons next to the voice selectors. Those are for the low and melody ranges. These are ranges you can define at the top or bottom of the keyboard where the Divisi engine does not apply and you can just play without any restrictions and as fast as you want. So for example, if you want to play simple chords in the left hand and play an agile melody on top of it, you can set that up like so. Three voices to cello, viola and violin two, the melody range to the first violin. The low range works the same way, just, you know, lower. If I have built something that I enjoy, I can save and recall it as a preset here. You can also use the built-in preset management of your DAW, but then those presets are tied to that specific DAW, while the internal presets are cross-platform. So those are the core features and functionalities that you need to know when you want to get started with Divisimate Micro. But what if I want to use more than one instance of the plugin? Any set of ports can only ever be addressed by one instance of the plugin. But as mentioned before, you can go into the next MIDI hub and load up the 4x4 configuration. This will create a total of 16 Divisimate ports that can each be assigned to a different instance of Divisimate Micro. This way you can have up to 4 instances of the plugin running side by side. Let me show you by adding another plugin to this project. The way this works in the plugin is that up here you can actually select which ports this instance should talk to. If you add another instance of Divisimate Micro to the session, it will automatically claim the next higher available set of ports until there are no ports left. This way you can actually have multiple sets of instruments in your session, each listening to their own distinct Divisimate Micro instance with its own settings. By combining them you can build larger ensembles and either play each section one at a time or record them all at once. You can also set up multiple instruments to react to the same Divisimate ports. You can insert MIDI plugins before Divisimate Micro to auto-generate chords or rhythms. And you can of course host the plugin in a live performance software like Camelot Pro or Mainstage and take it to the stage. Divisimate Micro is a simple little plugin, but the possibilities it creates are vast. 
We hope you enjoyed this overview of the new plugin. We will definitely talk about the possibilities of it some more in the future. So make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and let us know in the comments if you have any questions. But for this video, that is all. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.